channel. I got my CFA charter in the mail and I am so excited to be unboxing it in today's video. I have waited a very long time to get the CFA charter. It definitely is not an easy task by any means. I know they changed the CFA program recently, but when I took it, I took level one in June, took level two in June of the following year, and took level three in June the following year after level two. I am very, very thankful that I was able to pass the CFA exams in three consecutive years. I needed to devote so much of my time within those three years to the CFA exam, and I'm really glad that I got that out of the way. I know recently the CFA Institute made some changes to the CFA exams. I think level one is offered four times a year, level two is offered twice a year, and also level three. So things are definitely changing. I know that given the COVID situation going on, a lot of test providers are moving to an online base exam and that definitely changes a lot of things. For those of you who are not very familiar with the CFA program, the CFA program has three different exams. Each of those exams are called levels, so level one, level two, and level three. You also have to meet minimum work experience to qualify to receive the charter. If you are interested in learning more of the CFA program, I'll have the link down below. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tiffany and I currently work a corporate job in finance. On YouTube, I post videos related to finance and lifestyle. If you like what you're watching so far, give this video a like and also subscribe down to my channel below. It would definitely mean a lot if you subscribe to my channel. Now I really want to share some tips I have for you to pass the CFA exam. These are general tips that I have that can be applied to any of the three levels. Tip number one is a test taking tip. So when you're taking the exam, don't get too bogged down with one multiple choice question. When you're taking the practice exams, make sure that you time yourself and don't spend too much time on one question since other questions might be easier for you to answer. A bad thing that could happen is that if you spend too much time on one question, you don't have enough time to answer some other questions and you might end up making some careless mistakes which you definitely don't want to have since every point counts. If you feel like you don't have enough time, it is so much easier to rush into the questions and not read the question carefully and it is so important to read each question carefully when you take the CFA exams and also when you do the practice exams. If you are having trouble with a question, give it your best shot and select an answer that you think is appropriate and move on to the next question. You have a limited amount of time for the exams, so definitely use your time wisely. Tip number two is a study tip, and I would recommend to make flashcards as many as you like and review them at every day at least two months before the exam date. I made so many flashcards for level two in particular. I probably had a three inch stack of flashcards and you know, it would take too long to review all of them on one single day. Going through that entire stack would probably take me at least one hour just to review flashcards. So what I did is that I broke that stack into four different flashcards, which took me 15 minutes each to review. So I would review one 15 minute stack of flashcards every day before I went to work. I would do that actually first thing when I wake up in the morning. You can also review them right before you go to sleep at night. That also works too. But it's just so important to review your flashcards every day. In the stack of flashcards, I would also try to make sure that different parts of the material are represented in the stack of flashcards since it is so easy to just focus on one topic. Later on in the end of the week, you might forget what topics were in the first day of when you did the flashcards. So I like to mix them up and make sure I have a good assortment of the material in those flashcards. Tip number three is a study tip that I would recommend when you're getting closer to the exam, maybe one month to the exam. When you're in the review stage of your studying, I would recommend to review your practice exams that you took thoroughly since there could be certain 
questions that you got wrong and it's so important to focus on your weak areas um, and use the practice exam as a launch pad to figure out what are your weak areas and how can you improve and get those questions right the next time you see those topics um, come up and yes make sure you take a lot of practice exams so you can assess which areas are not very strong for you and try to improve those scores. Whenever I took the practice exam, I would definitely review the questions I got wrong extensively and make sure that I knew that specific part of the material. Give this video a like if you found those tips useful and also subscribe down to my channel below while you're at it. Now let's go unbox the CFA Charter Certificate. The CFA Institute mailed my CFA Charter Certificate in this little box. It's like a cardboard tube. I haven't opened this and I'm really excited to take a look. So let's go open this up. I'm just going to use my fingernail to cut through this packing tape. Oh. Okay. That looks promising. There it is. This is the certificate. Oh my gosh. It is enormous. This is definitely the largest certificate I've ever gotten in my life. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't get over how large the certificate is. I had to block out some parts of the certificate, but this is what it looks like. It looks great! It's printed on this really big ivory paper and the fonts are all embossed. They look very official. I'm not really sure where to put this certificate yet since it's very big, so I think I first need to get a frame for this and yeah I'm so proud of earning this now I can use the letters comma CFA after my name until I get my frame I'm going to store this in a secure spot I hope that you enjoyed today's video and make sure to give this video a like and also make sure to subscribe down to my channel below thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye